Okay, so, hello everyone, and welcome back to another devlog. So, it has been a good bit, and I have worked on quite a lot. So, um, I'm just gonna throw this out here. Um, this is mostly about the locomotion system. So, if you're wondering about the cool little hands you see right now on screen, and the uh, Jimmy, weights, all that cool stuff, camera system, um, you probably just watched the, not previous, but, but one before that devlog. Um, that one explains pretty much all about the hand physics that I'm doing. Uh, don't worry, still not nerdy. Um, yeah, this is solely about the um, body physics plus a little bit of hand maneuvering with it. So, um, if I just check right now, you can see everything is back to normal. Uh, I've still got my hands. They're tracking with the red hand trackers. I'm not sure I've actually published a devlog on... Uh, my PD controllers, uh, if not, well, crap, um, but if not, then I'll, ex I'll just link a video in Wiki onto Wikipedia or something. Anyways, point is, uh, first thing is, uh, we've got step up, so all it is, um, if you're wondering, I've got a box collider that's hovering above the ground that's constantly trying to get to my position, there's a sphere collider right above that that's trying to use torque to move if I move in game, however, if I move in real life, it's just using move position, like rigid body dot move position. Um, okay, <laughs> so yeah, uh, allows for stepping up heights. You can see how this one works, but this one works, but this one shouldn't. Yeah, you can see how all these work. So it allows for quite a bit of step height, right? I can also push up onto here, um, which I will be where the pushing on objects really sucks so far. Um, because it's kind of multiplying the force by two each time or something like that. Um, so you can see I can climb and everything. So if I try just pushing my body onto here, you can see I can easily get up in here. Um, another great thing is that there's never a worry about if you're in, if you're in the air, um, with the step up mechanic, there's never, ever, ever a worry about thinking that like your legs are in the way or something. You'll immediately step up. As soon as you try to climb onto something, so if you move up, you immediately climb, which is really great. Um, adds a lot to it. And you can see I can also do pretty much anything you'd want to do in VR, where if you want to climb like this, right, allows for that. Um, again, like I said, the spring system is very broken. So, you know, it's going to be broken for a while now. Uh, there we go. So, yeah. Um, See, that works, and to adjust, uh, or to, like, I don't know, go to the next segment, I guess, and show you, uh, if I push down my secondary button on my controller, whoops, that's the camera, um, <laughs> on my right controller, you can see how I can jump. So, this will allow for pretty much any, any amount of jumping, I can adjust the force however I want, um, and you can also play around with this, uh, it works, works on Oculus Quest 2, and most likely any other headset with a joystick. If it doesn't have a joystick, it might work. Please test it and I'll, <laughs> um, and let me know how it works. If it does, then that's great. Um, pushing, uh, since I made the, uh, hand half physics onto the body, pushing on walls also works and adjusts the player. Um, pretty much anything, even if it's just something small like this, it'll allow, should allow me to push. Okay, no. Um, <laughs> I forgot I can't collide with this, so it's not actually going to allow me to. Wow, this is like spike and a half. Um, okay, yeah, this is the problem with using Airlink, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> point is, anything that is physics should interact with my hand and body um, both at the same time. Uh, no, I have not. I will in a minute. Okay. Alright, sorry, um, it's a little bit noisy here, so, um, as I was saying, uh, I can push around this, and this won't work because it's not technically a layer that'll detect it. Uh, I will make it, however, that, it's just that if I go up to it, I don't want my head to be pushed under like this, right? Same with this little dude, right? So, because it's really awkward, um, if you go underneath, or if you're trying to go above, and it's really weird, like, his... His foot, I would actually step onto his foot, which is really odd. Um, same with the weights. So, disabled that. 
but you can see how I can pick up weights just fine, right? Uh, you can see how they react differently and everything. Uh, if I try picking up a 15 pound with one hand, uh, it'll barely work. You can see how I can barely get it off the ground, even though my glider is up here. If I shift down, you can see it just falls. Um, of course, I can probably pick up a lot more than that, and I should probably adjust the weight a little bit more. But this is also 120 pounds as far as I'm worth, so maybe 110, I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> see how if I do two hands, however, this also works, and it pretty much doubles the force. Not exactly, but somewhat. <laughs> and you can see how I can pick this up well. And this 50 kilogram, no matter what I do, I can pretty much only pick it up at the, up to this point. And just see this. There we go. Yeah. See how the colliders will just adjust and not do anything. So yeah. A lot of work went into getting this. Um, friction also works, so I can just pull this just using friction. No grabbing necessary if I just use this. See how this also works. Little bit of breaking with um, smaller forces or higher forces, smaller mass. But once again, my camera system also works. So I can pull this doodle around. See, view the world. <laughs> um, she'll be able to see me now. Um, I would start the dialogue like this, but I kind of also. Well, well, I sort of accidentally recorded like three ones before this, and the reason why is because. The first time uh, I was in the Unity editor and you had this small tiny window to view from, which sucked. Um, and the second time I sort of just messed up on everything. So yeah, um, this is the devilog. Um, I've got a lot of stuff. Oh, I didn't even show you slopes. Um, <laughs> yeah, so slopes in games, of course, normally you don't want to slide down. Like if you're at this height, you probably do. Um, but in this case, I just made any slope that you go down or up, uh, it'll immediately stop you. And the reason why is because I think I mentioned at the beginning, yes, I did, uh, hopefully, that there is a box collider below you, like somewhere right here, that just hovers and allows for a step up. Same thing with, uh, it just puts the sphere, right, the locomotion sphere it's called, um, at an even surface. So rather than having this jagged uh, 10, 20, 30, and 40 degree surface, I just have a flat plane. And it tries to stop it with friction along with just the PD controller. So you can see how I can move up this one. This one's a lot more broken. Same with this one. As soon as you move down it, uh, it starts to pretty much just like throw you down. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, everything works pretty darn well. Um, I don't really know what else to show <laughs> at this point in time. Uh, you can see how I can walk on the floor. I guess that's a added bonus. I don't know. Um, just got this prototype material as well, and then got really, really tired, so I just added a, um, a little bit of the shader graph to make it cool textured. Um, but yeah, uh, there's probably gonna be a demo for this in the description for the init.io. Probably could have mentioned it a little bit before. Um, but yeah, um, it's the last thing I was gonna say. Oh yeah, um, if you want, join the Discord. Um, there's a lot of cool people there. Um. Not too many, sorry, just few people, uh, but cool. Uh, so, yeah, uh, if you feel like joining, uh, a lot of other things. Uh, if you need any help with Unity, I can help. Um, yeah, uh, if you're interested in this, I might probably make this open source. It'll be really garbage, like the code will be terrible. Um, and if you're a good coder, you'll immediately realize how bad it is, probably. But I got it, so <laughs> I got everything working. Uh, I asked quite a few people uh, to help, so um, a few people are Nim Sony and Tundra Fight School. Check both of them out on YouTube. They're great people. Um, really helped, uh, especially Tundra because he's doing this, or sorry, he has done this entire thing already. Uh, just a lot less glitchy noodle kind of fingers. Um, but yeah, I I'm slowly getting there. Uh, I've gotten forces working and everything, can push against walls. Love it. And weights work properly. And so, yeah, everything has to be gripped properly. I can still jump with anything I want. Um, that's up. That's, I'm not getting that now, I don't think. Oh, well. Oh, hey, look at that. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, 
yeah, if there's any questions, uh, I'd love to see what you'd have to comment. I'm pretty much just rambling on now. There's probably 0% of viewers watching. But yeah, um, this is the devlog. Uh, goodbye.